Welcome to the Bibliotheca Orientalis. Today we present a book by Catherine Sayen, The Architecture of Fernand Pouillon. In French, Architecture par Fernand Pouillon. Fernand Pouillon is a famous architect, controversial, extremely talented. He worked in the 50s and in the 60s in south of France. His fame is due to his ability to conceive and deliver the quarters very quickly at a reasonable cost, normally 20, 25% less than the com competitors. Competitors at that time were the rationalist architects. Well, uh, in uh, Algeria, uh, in the, at the end of the 50s, he built three quarters, uh, the Are Sada, the Are Masoul, and Climat de France, for the uh, Algerian people. And that was the last tentative of the French Republic to contain the uh, independence war of the Algerians. We know quite everything about Fernand Pouillon, but uh, uh, this book of Catherine Sayen fills the last gap. That is about the profession in French, le métier, an ability to synthesize invention, organization and management of the office, and management of the site work. The book starts with a plane that is flying from Marseille and landing in Algiers. The authorities are waiting for the architects and they take him immediately to the site. And he conceives the projects directly measuring the site. The second chapter, is dedicated to the return, the activity in the office in order to organize a project that should be carried on at least in no more than in one month. And the ability of dividing the, the work and controlling the work and so on. The Mito de Pouillon is very, is very simple. He basically doesn't sketch. He gives few ideas to the to the draftman, and then he directly designs and works on the uh, definitive drawings or working drawings of the, of the project itself. The most interesting is the third chapter. In this chapter, uh, Catherine Sayen describes the method of designing of Fernand Pouillon. All the project is not based on abstract measurements, but like the Greek temple, for instance, is based on a, on a module measurements or a standard basic module, module or reference that is uh, extended to all the building. The module is the hollow flooring block, which is 60 centimeters. And that is the, the measurement that, that is used to measure all the plans. So every room, for instance, is six by six. Obviously, the facade is related to it, and then, and so on and so forth. So, it basically, this method uh, per allows to quick uh, realization of the of the of the working drawings, uh, quick understanding by the draftman of the of the project, the uh, localization of this of the of the staircase, the localization of the bathrooms. And the localization of the various rooms of the apartment, the, all that depends from the hollow flooring block. It's a simple principle, but it's genial, and it's not invented by Pouillon. It comes uh, to Pouillon from the, his uh, deep knowledge of the old treatises and deep knowledge of the classical architecture. The last chapter is related to the uh, composition of the general plan of the quarter. Differently from his colleague, rational colleagues that used to tend uh, to build a very uh, simple bars and repeat them in a serial way, that basically was the, the disruption of the uh, urban space. Fernand Pouillon pays a particular attention to the organization and the disposition of the various uh, blocks in such a way that they create uh, different interesting urban spaces. But they are all combined, they are all modular, they are all related to the architecture itself, which means that 
uh, in a certain way, we can say that his architecture can be titled from the olive flooring block to the city. The, I think that the lessons that can be taught from his professional activity are at least three. Fernand Pouillon used to repeat, uh, je fais l'architecture comme le pommier fait les pommes. He wanted evidently vehicle the idea of his talent, his ability of producing the architecture with uh, nonchalance. In reality, he was perfectly aware that uh, the profession requires uh, study, sacrifice, knowledge, and training. I think that uh, the journey through the architecture of Nam Puyong, his ability to conjugate design and construction at the same time, he is a method based on a synthesis of invention, managing, and the ability to carry on the site work should be an important reference. The second lesson is, if the architecture is the synthesis of design and construction and not design of facades, the young architect must not delegate control of the site to the engineer. The synthesis is synchronic, made of constructive principles and solutions that coexist with the idea of spaces. Unlike many colleagues, Pouillon uh, doesn't give up the control of the urban spaces. And according to the teaching of his master, Eugène Baudouin, he designed uh, a, an, architect, an urban architecture that uh, is dialoguing with the nature and it is hierarchically ordered, demonstrating that in spite of the different scales, in reality, in the uh, practice of the architecture, there's only one scale architecture.